yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get a job, son? Now as a kid, you're like, damn it. God damn it, I'm feeling some type of adulthood. Yeah, that was the fucking worst part for me. I'm looking as a child, and I'm like, in my head, once I don't get what I want, every kid is because of their parent out in their head. But you will never do it out loud. I'm like, you son of a fucking bitch. I say the craziest words I would never say. Oh, shit, kid, you motherfucker. You ain't gonna give me no fucking treat, you motherfucker. And then in my room, I'll be cussing my mom out in my room like, God, fuck you, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. I try to stretch it out because it just makes me feel even better. Bitch. And then one day my mom walked in with her belt ready because she heard me. There's something about super my parents have superpowers. I don't know if it's just my parents, but moms, they have like superpowers. She has this gift to where she has these like chocolates. Have you guys seen her mom's chocolates? She'll be walking in these chocolates and they have these flip, like flip, flip. And as a kid, you always hear the flip. You know when your mom's around. But you don't hear the flip. And if you were cussing and doing your free shit, shit, motherfucker. She takes it off and she has these spider senses. She's like, she's like, motherfucker, tickle, tickle, motherfucker. <laughs> Boom, no matter wherever you at in the house, you get knocked the hell out. I'm like, this is fucking crazy. I'm at school after school. I'm dancing with my homies. I'm like, yeah, man, roll that fucking shit. Roll that motherfucking shit. I'm not worried about nothing. My parents are miles away. I'm like, shit. I'm like, what in the fuck, mom? Did mama just hit me from miles away? What is going on? So, you know, our parents have superpowers. My dad has superpowers, too. My dad has uh, these look powers. I don't know what it is. Every time he has these looks, I just know where they, where, what the fuck to do, where to go. He has a uh, get the fuck out my face look. He has a I will whoop your ass look. He has go wash your ass look. Go mow the grass look. My mom has the same shit. You ever have a mom that has a look with a sentence on it? I'm not pointing. She's like, I will fuck you up. <laughs> Moms are insane. You know, my mom, I love her with all my heart, her and her superpowers, because she was talking to me one day, and she was like, yo, artist, you should really work on your craft. I'm like, work on my craft, OK? What should I do, mom? She's like, seriously, go to Google, do your research, and I want you to really go hard or whatever you're gonna do. So this time I'm working on my jokes, and I'm like, yo, Dom, yo, man, I'm studying so hard. Dolly D is one of my best friends. We call him Dad. I'm like, yo, what up, Dad? He like, yo, boy. Dolly D has the best sayings in the world. Shout out my boy, Dolly D. After my mom told me this, I got really inspired. I sat down, did my research, and I went straight to him. I'm at Cooper's house. I see Greg, we're all chilling, and I'm like having this conversation. And I'm like, yo, Dad, like, I don't know, bro, like, I've been working hard, but I just need to work on my transitions and all of this. He was like, yo, bro, it's easy, dude. It's easy. You just got to be free, let go, and, you know, know that the Lord is going to be working with you. Walk with the Lord. I'm like, cool. And then one day I hit him up. I was like, yo, it's strange, dog. I'm like, I was thinking of these jokes. He's like, no, artist, I got a joke for you because one of my friends hit me up, and he was like, yo, I don't mean to call you, I butt dialed you. He's like, what? You butt dialed me? Butt dialed me? Where do you keep your phone? In your butt? It's like, bro, I'm not like you weirdos. Like a normal human, I keep my phone in my front pocket. So it's most likely, I'm about to dick dial you. I'm going to dick down every single one of you motherfuckers. I'm going to dick down your mama. I'm going to be like, hey, Mrs. Johnson, dick down. I didn't mean to really call you, but uh, is John home? No, he's not home. OK, I'll come get a Hot Pocket. Thanks. <laughs> dick down your daddy. I'm like, uh, Mr. Johnson, I, uh, I'm i leaving your house right now with a Hot Pocket. Didn't mean to call you, but uh, these Hot Pockets are delicious. Dick down your grandma. I'm like, hey, grandmama Johnson, I uh, think you got a granddaughter. I don't know who the fuck I'm dick dialing. I'm about to dick dial anyone. I'm making up the phone like, um, hello? Mom? Uh, I, no, I didn't mean to call you. You need some cigarettes? Shoot. Matter of fact, that's the best way to think. 
You guys, it's your boy True Artist. Before I go, I want to do something for you. I want to slap and pop with some uh, beautiful Venetian inspiration. You know, one of the things I say all the time is people can come to Venice anywhere, from anywhere in the world, and be anyone to be the best that they can be. I've heard it. Happy Dollar D. Shout out Dollar. Yeah, it's crazy because Dollar D, he came out here and helped me did this. And in order to do this in Venice, we gotta do it the right way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me do this for you guys. Shout out to Mata Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shout out Jason Rogers. Shout out to Venice Comedy Compound. We did it in Venice. We did it in Venice.
to stay consistent. See your goals taking off like rocket or spaceship, man. Yeah, pay attention to details, repetition is key. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about the soul, yeah, like you and me. Keep going, keep growing, yeah, universally. More possibilities in space, time reach beyond the galaxies. There's no fear to be me, it's courageous just to be. Yeah, now you look around and your team is free. And now it's happily, cause the whole time we're doing this.